All right, welcome to Cosmic Reach Community Roundup for March 30th and March 31st, 2024. Over these past couple days, Cosmic Reach 0.1.16 came out and also uh, 0.1.17. Final Core Reach added a world creation screen where you can set the world name, seed, and type. And then he also added the flat world type. So let's show that off now. All right, so here we are on the title screen of Cosmic Reach. If we click start, we're led into here, which is just the list of your normal worlds. And right now, all I have is the pre-alpha world, my, my own pre-alpha world. If you click create new world now, it used to be where it would pop you into the loading screen and then pop you into a, a new world. But now we have this screen. As you can see, there are three options here. There's world name, so you can type in your own world name. So I'm just gonna leave that at new. And then we have the world seed. You can change that to whatever you want. And then you can, you know, generate interesting worlds and then share the world seed with your friends or someone on the Discord server or something like that. And then you can both play on the same exact generated world. And then we have the world type, which is currently set to moon. But as we noted before, there's also flat world now. So if we go ahead and click flat world and then click create new world it's going to load us in and as you can see it's just a totally flat world of grass if we click f3 and look in the top left oh it looks like some of the options have changed recently i haven't been keeping notes on what's been changing up there we're currently on position y equals 32 which means that we have about 200 and some blocks above us and then about 32 blocks below us so the top layer is grass and then we have a full layer of dirt another full layer of dirt and then we have this broken stone block all the way down and then we fall off the world and respawn. So this will be very useful if you're looking to just build something creatively and you're you don't want the rest of the moon terrain, the kind of messy moon terrain to get in your in your way. Okay, checking the Discord, we'll start out in the screenshots channel. The first thing we have is Laluna de Azula posted this screenshot of a nice little home. This was a very, very good build. I like this a lot. It uses some mods for different textures that aren't actually in the game yet. So for example, you got the sideways logs, you've got these lights, you've got these leaves. You've got this little plant holder and then everything else that you can see that's not in the actual game like bricks and everything and the fence posts and the bookshelves and the candles. So uh, yeah, pretty much almost everything really the different colors of wood. And then if you look back here into this room, you can see the checkerboard flooring. It looks like he's using the furniture mod as well. So really, really nice room here. This was posted in the fan art channel. It's nine blocks with displays on them. This was just used as a display texture, but I thought that it would be an interesting idea idea if somebody made a mod that was a block that had a display like this on it with two eights like all timers do and then you would be able to control the displays with redstone or one of the wires or cable mods that's in the mods channel that'd be very useful for something like a custom map where you want the player to complete it in a certain amount of time here's a very well done model of a skeleton character so it says human robots that lost all of their artificial skin roams the earth deep within the vacant halls of buildings that cr are crudely held together with plant life. I like the little creations like this that take inspiration from what Final Four each talked about for his story idea for the game. Here's an impressive dinosaur model that looked like it took a while to make. Back in the fan art channel, we have a flamer robot and some corresponding models. After becoming hostile, they attack the player with flames and can hover above the ground. Once they run out of fuel for the flamethrower, they attack in close range with their claws. This seems like a very good idea for some kind of boss in Cosmic Reach. And I actually haven't thought about that before, if Cosmic Reach could have boss characters, but that's interesting to think about. And here's a render of the robots actually shooting his flamethrower. Here's some fan art of the original aluminum, metal, new copper block, and a new gold block, along with corresponding ores and ingots. Obviously, the copper and gold aren't actually in the game, the ingots aren't actually in the game, and then the ores aren't actually in the game yet but these look very nice, so I wanted to show them off. And I recently put out a video about making tortellini soup, how I make my soup, and it looks like people have been making kind of fan art or just sprites of the soup that I made in that video. This looks to be the most upvoted one. It has 15 up arrows and then soup after it. It looks very good. It says tried my hand at the tortellini soup item texture as well. I like this one the most because it has that darker color on the outside. It has a purple outline and then it has that bright yellow look inside of it, the bright yellow brown, which is my beef broth and the tortellini noodles. 
There's just something about it. It looks like the inside is glowing, kind of like lava. I don't know, it just looks kind of cool. And we have an attempt that was built in the game, in the flat world. And we have some other people trying their hand at it as well. And this one looks pretty good too. Moving on to mods. I showed this mod during the last Community Roundup video, and it's the minecart mod. And it looks like he's working on detector rails. So you can see when the carts go over the detector rails, they're able to trigger these wires, which turns on and off the lights. We also have this new mod called Many Wools, which is what was used to make that tortellini soup right in the soup in the flat world that I showed a little bit earlier. This is just a mod that adds a bunch of different colors of wool. I really like the texture here. It's very smooth and it, it looks like wool, so well done. This is also a new mod that came out today called Music Sequencing Musical, or M-U-S-I-K-A-L. This is a pretty awesome mod. I'm just gonna play this video and show you what it's all about. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different blocks and some of them give you effects like reverb and echo and then you've got different sounds and uh, yeah, you can hook them all up with the redstone wiring mods. And here's another quick video of an actual song being made. Very cool, and I think it's only a matter of time before we start seeing actual full songs being made in Cosmic Reach with these mods. I remember thinking back on Minecraft, people would often make videos of riding on a minecart just straight forward or through some scenery, and then on the sides of the scenery, there would be note blocks that would play a song, and uh, the minecart was hooked up to detector rails, so it would trigger the correct note blocks as the player moved through the scenery. And it seems like, to me at least, we actually have of access to all of the mods needed to do something like that, except for maybe the player riding inside of a minecart. I think it's the only thing that we don't have yet. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.